Okay, that was not what I expected out of qualifying. I don't think anybody expected really, I didn't really expect Norris to be on pole, to be perfectly honest. Max looked like he had it totally locked down uh, from his performance so far this weekend. Uh, but we'll go through all of that. Uh, before we start though, subscribe if you're new, throw me a like if you got a second, and let's break down this qualifying run before the GP tomorrow. Okay, so L Norris on pole. Uh, he did a very good lap, but let's go through everybody qu f first quickly. Zhao, uh, Botas, Franco, and Alexander out in Q1. Th also, Lewis Hamilton. Uh, shocker of a lap. Nothing really went wrong. It was just several really bad performances uh, from Lewis. The car looked broken. To be perfectly honest, it, it didn't look good. Uh, I will note that during the sprint race, going to the grid, he noted that there was a clunk from his front wheel and there was something broken for that sprint race. So that's why he was so slow, uh, why he couldn't really, I mean, he was still pretty quick in comparison to George, but um, he did have something broken. So maybe that fixed, maybe there was something more broken, possibly. This is a detrimental track to the cars. It's very hard. Like I explained in the preview video, the whole track is built on clay, so bumps accumulate very quickly over uh, several years. So uh, there's part of the track, the Sector 2 is old. So it's still a pretty rough track, so maybe he had more broken on this car. It looked odd. Uh, Lewis has been a little bit behind in recent years, uh, or at least this year, compared to George, but not that far behind. That car looked broken. Okay, let's go up to the next ones. Liam, Lance. Esteban, Nico, and Yuki. Uh, Yuki was trying to get a tow from Liam, who has a 60 place grid pedally. So he was only out there to, on his outlap to try to give a tow to Yuki. It helped, but it couldn't help him without uh, being knocked out. So uh, also Nico Hulkenberg had a terrible tank slapper in the first corner uh, and he just kind of whipped the back end came out. He caught it, but he was a second down on his time and he couldn't improve. And he actually got knocked out by Kevin Magnuson, ironically. Uh, surprised Esteban Ocon wasn't up higher. He was very good this weekend. I will say that the Alpines look pretty good, uh, especially in the straights. That's where their all their time is coming from that I can see. Uh, Lance Stroll couldn't put a lap together. So that's kind of rounds off all those guys. In the top 10, we have Sergio Perez, Kevin Magnussen, Fernando Alonso, Pierre Gasly, George Russell, Oscar Piastri, Charles Leclerc, Carlos Sainz, Max Verstappen, and Lando Norris. So the biggest ones for me and for me, it should be everybody is the Red Bulls P2 and P10. Uh, I think it was felt like a pretty much foregone conclusion that Max was going to be on pole. And I did say at the end of the sprint that they needed to be on pole. The saving grace, okay, let me explain why he needed to be on pole. Uh, when Checo was following other people in the race, his car was nowhere. Now I know Checo is not Max Verstappen, so obviously we're all aware of that, but uh, his car was very slow in traffic. And I think this might be an older, or maybe what's a good comparison? The the Mercedes from, from its, its dominant era was really set up to be a pole a starter and then out in free air. And this Red Bull right now kind of feels like that to me. If they're not in free air, they're gonna have a hard time. The saving grace for Max is it's Lando in first and usually bottles every start to every race that he's ever had. Although he was very good in the sprint and he made up some positions. So who knows what's gonna happen. But that's that uh, and then Checo in P10. And why do these guys end up here? Max had a pole position lap coming in on his very fair, uh, very last one, but this is what ended up bringing out all that. This is the penultimate corner for George. He touches the edge, and the back end just is gone. And then he has a pretty hard shunt uh, into the wall, and they'll uh, they'll have a hard time getting that car around. Like you can see. <laughs> that was the best shot ever. The cameraman deciding not even to look at that. It was a pretty hard shunt. Uh, you just goes to show how fast they are going through that corner. So. Uh, that was on as everybody was trying to put their final laps in. I don't think anybody got a final lap in because George was one of the first ones to start that. Uh, Alonzo was the only one, but he only put in one lap. So, uh, and that's why everybody didn't really improve. And that's why Checo ended up in P10. Oh my gosh. Checo has had some of the worst results. He's getting unlucky too, I will admit. But I mean, he's getting no chance to prove that he's better. And to be honest, his whole, the whole teammate of Verstappen Gasly has, has a, 
<laughs> qualified him in a bloody Alpine, along with Alonzo and Magnuson in a Haas. I just, I cannot. Um, this is Lando's push lap. Max did a very good lap, but also Lando also did a very good lap uh, on his very la on his one attempt in Q3. Looked really close to this. Uh, this is that same corner. This is where George went yeah, across the track. It's a very common corner to have track limits. I, I mean, <laughs> like this meme. This is a good meme, but man, that is close. Uh, I don't... <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, but uh, I don't know. That looks outside of track limits to me. Uh, I, I mean, I guess this little pixel of a tire here is technically on it. I don't know how the rules work. Is it the physical line of where the tire is? Or is it where it touches the ground? I've never had to ask that before. But that is like, if it touches the ground, he might also be out? If it's the line of this tire on the inside of the white line? I don't know, that, is a, that was really close. He was, it was everything he could do to beat Max in that first run, uh, Lando was. So uh, kudos to him, he, he did do it. Yeah, turn 19 was what Max, um, Turn 19 and sort of he missed the apex of this turn as well uh, And then we're, that's what we're talking about They missed by like a very small amount and it cost them like maybe a tenth and that's what really put him over the edge